second maximum. Now we'll come to the question number five. After adding three to numerator and denominator, it becomes five ratio six. It is telling n by d, and we have added year three. We have added year three. It has become five by six. What will be value of n by d? This is good question. This is one of the competitive exam question. Directly we can say it is two by three. Nothing else. Two by three. If we are adding three, it will become five. If we are adding denominator three, it will become six. It will not question at all. Now we'll come to the question number six. Question number six. A is two by third of B plus C. The same question can be written in different different format. A is the sixty-seven percent of B plus C, or B plus C is thirty-three percent less than A. Variety of format can be, but I have written in very simple format. Or the same thing we can write in one of the story type problem. But gist of the problem I have written here. The same problem I can make one seven or eight line or a story, and uh, this data will be feed. Then question will be generated like here. A is two by third of B plus C, and C is half of A plus B. Find C. Condition is A plus B plus C equal to given. If some anywhere it is given, it is just thumb rule you keep it keep in your mind. Anywhere in the ratio problem, if it is some is given, question is going to become easy. No need to worry. Maybe how much complicated way it is given. If sum is given, you will able to make sufficient guess. If it is theta based question also, like here choice is not given. Like in CAT now, almost 25% questions are falling down in this category. 20 to 25% means theta category where choices are not given. You have to solve and you have to make your answer input. If it will be wrong, then it will be wrong only. But one one benefit is there. If it is wrong, no negative marking only for theta. Then here A is expressed in terms of E plus C. And C is expressed in terms of half. Only thing we have to just apply A is equal to two by three, and B plus C you just write based on this equation. Means it will become one thousand five hundred minus. It will be A. Then we can write here. It will become one thousand minus two by three A. Just to do some here there plus minus. It will become five by three A. It is equal to. I was just telling that if sum is given, question will be always easy. No need to effort. Then here just will write like we have to find the C directly. You can use this equation also. There is no need to do this one. Just for understanding purpose. If they are asking like A ratio B ratio C, then you have to find all these. But if they are asking only C, then C equal to half into just you write A plus B equal to one thousand five hundred minus C. Enough. Once you manipulate in this way, enough. You will get the value of C. Your answer, your you got the answer. But further, if you want to solve, two equation has given two variable we will easily find. If two equation has given, we can find very easily two variable. Then here A A will come six hundred. C you got five hundred. Then B automatically will become four hundred because sum is. One thousand five hundred. Then ratio will become A ratio, B ratio, C six hundred, four hundred, five hundred. Means we can say finally six 